my name is David Diaz, and as you can see, I'm a movie collector. Duh. <laughs> well, uh, uh, first of all, sorry for my English. It's not great. I I'm going to try to do my best. But normally in this channel, you will find a lot of videos in Spanish or with subtitles. I there's a lot of films. There's a lot of short films. And uh, there's just a few videos in English, like this one. It was a presentation that I did many years ago, if you want to know something more about me. But, let's get on business. I'm a movie collector, and I also work on a, in, a, in a tiny video and music store. And I had a lot of things to say about what is happening right now with movie collectors. And it's really sad. The only example I can say right now is that if you start a conversation with a 20-year-old guy and they say, what do you do for a living? And I, and I said, I'm working on a video and music store. And they say, and he says, what? Those plays are still existing? And I feel right. I feel like, are you kidding me? Of course. Yes! Movies are still available! You can buy it! Do you? Well, the answer is yes and no. And that's thanks to the fucking platforms. Yes, I'm not gonna tell, uh, tell you the normal story that we all know. But this is Spain. Spain is different. Just like other countries. There's a lot of people that came to the store uh, from... I remember there already came guys from Portugal, guys from Italy, France, British guys, even from the States. And the, the very first thing that happens when they just open the door and get into the store, they, their, their eyes just get very shiny and they, they're like, Whoa, oh my God. This is amazing. It's like uh, being in a in a sacred place for them, because uh, I then um, approach to them and I always ask the same question: Do you still have those kinds of stores in your country? For example, in the states, they say yes, but for example, when I asked the Portugal guys, they said, "Not so many." Not in my country anymore, not in my city. And that is so sad. Uh, one of the things that uh, really pissed me off is when somebody asked me for movies that... Like uh, The Irishman, the Scorsese one. Do you, do you, son, do you have The Irishman? I look at them and I said... I'm sorry to say this, but... It's a Netflix movie. And they said, What do you mean, son? It's a Netflix movie. You're never going to see it on DVD or Blu-ray. And why is that, son? Because it's fucking Netflix! Netflix doesn't share anything. It's like Joey with food. <sighs> why? I don't know. Right? Maybe, but it's really fun to talk with somebody from the States that said we got our own edition on DVD on Blu-ray, just like Cobra Kai, just like Stranger Things, just like fucking Rick and Morty. We don't have shit. Well, I'm lying. We got Rick and Morty. We got this piece of shit on Blu-ray. Only the three first seasons with... No subtitles on the extras. That sucks. You want to see the rest of the seasons? Buy HBO. That's the only way to see that. And The Irishman. You want to see it? Buy fucking Netflix. It's like Stranger Things and etc, etc, etc. It is really sad too because I'm also um, a VHS and beta collector. Uh, every time 
in the year, I, I try to just look for uh, movies that they are completely unknown for the rest of the, of the people. Movies that they're from the 60s, most of them are from the 70s and, and the 80s. I only buy them because I know that in Spain there's no DVD edition, there is never going to be Blu-ray edition, their the platforms doesn't know their existence, and of course I'm a dubbing lover. Uh, I really love dubbing, my, my own dubbing from Spain, in the, the Castilian Spanish dubbing. So I buy them because some of those movies, I can find them on the States or their own country, but with their own language, no subtitles. So I can find the original Spanish dubbing was from the original video release. And that's a fucking treasure, man. And sometimes I can tell you, there is some of those movies finally arrive in Netflix with subtitles and I got the original dubbing where's why the dubbing is not in Netflix right thing because they have rights they don't want to just look up and pay them fuck it subtitles the other day also talking about subtitles the other day come to this uh, to the store uh, came uh, uh, a, yeah, an American guy. I will, yeah, I will say Yankee. We'll say Yankee in Spain sometimes. Oh, there's a Yankee! Well, uh, an American guy came to, to the store and uh, um, I approached him. I say, What are you looking for? And he said, Well, can you recommend me a, a, a movie from your country that I can just send to my. That I, can, you can, you can, yeah, that I can see in my country? And I said, Whoa, 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 whoa. You, and I said to him, You know that you can't watch all the movies from here in the States. And he said, what? And I said, oh my God. He didn't know about the zones. If you know, if you're a movie collector too, you know that there is the fucking zones. A DVD got six zones. A Blu-ray got three zones. One, two, three, four, five, six for DVDs. A, B, C for Blu-rays. We got B and two. Americans got one and A. So I told him, I'm gonna look over and I will try to find a movie that is zone zero, because that's when it's zone zero you can watch it all over the world. Most of the movies right now are zone zero. Not every, every one, but there is zone zero. But I can also find English subtitles because I ask him how's your Spanish I say eh, my Spanish is not so good okay I'll try to do my best it was very fucking sad that I couldn't find no movie no Spanish movie with Zon Zero and subtitles in English it was very sad because when I found English subtitles Zon 2 when I found Zon Zero no subtitles. Fuck it! God, it was so frustrating. I couldn't find one movie. It was a very new movie. It was, uh, it was, uh, you guys, uh, you guys from America are going to have, um, the, 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 uh, remake with Woody Harrelson. The movie is Campeones. I don't know how you call it in, in, uh, in English. There's the English title, by, uh, the trailer, by the way. And well, I found that movie, the original Spanish version, and it was Zan Zero and English subtitles. And I said, yes! And you know what was the, the very funny thing about it? His, his credit card didn't work. So I said, no worry. I will keep it there from you if you want to come uh, maybe in a few days. He said, yeah, yeah, yeah. He didn't show up. God damn it. I don't know what happened. But I also uh, have to say something that really pissed me off about uh, Spanish editions. We all know about bootlegs, you know? Bootlegs sometimes, you can find them anywhere. Bootlegs sometimes are, uh, for movie collectors, you can hate them or you can 
uh, you can just you can just say, "Oh my God, thank you very much. I was waiting for that movie all my life." But what always happened with a bootleg edition? You can find shit or not. But sometimes you can find a thing that uh, an original one can't have. Of course, and I know, and even know people that, that do it, there is bootleg edition made by fans that really love cinema, that they're making great editions, that, oh my God, even the greatest distributors could just faint and said, oh my God, why that's better than what we do? And said, well, because maybe they just love what they do. They only, they don't only think about money. But here in Spain, we got a distributor called Research Entertainment. Recent for, my, for the friends. And that distributor, presumably, it's a bootleg. But I have to announce it like that. Presumably, because it's really weird that a distributor from Spain starts to uh, release titles like True Lies, Stargate, um, Dirty Dancing in a, ver in a great collector's edition, The Mask, a lot of known American movies in amazing collector's editions, the two movies from Ace Ventura, uh, Mannequin, a lot of movies that they already appeared years ago from Warner, from Universal, from Metro Imagine, from Fox. All those big ones. And then suddenly those movies appeared. And whoa! No block of zone, they're all zone zero, and with a lot of subtitles and with a lot of languages. You maybe know that there is the Blu-ray of True Lies that was released for the very first time in the world in Spain. Well, Resin did it. The most uh, weird thing about that distributor is that only collectors know who are they? Because if you take a movie from them, you will ever find the logo of the company. You will ever find the original place where they, where they have the factory. That doesn't exist. Why? Duh! If they put what they're writing, ah, this is the police speaking. Get their asses out of here. Or maybe not, because they are making those kinds of movies from the past 15 years and nothing happened to them. And collectors, actually, are really, really, really happy. And I can understand. And I have to say, I also buy movies from them. DVDs. No, I'm not into Blu-rays for them. I prefer DVDs because there's a lot of people that already said to me, Blu-rays are not with great quality, but of course, there is situations very frustrating like this. Fright Night, 1985. Great movie, isn't it? Well, uh, it appeared on DVD years ago, and it was not a great edition. Here we got a trailer as a bonus feature, but five languages and a lot of different subtitles. One day, Reason create the Blu-ray edition. Reason and also another one, because I get problems with that. Another that is called Jamantol. They, they kind of, I think they're cousins or something, but we got Reason and we got Jamantol. And they got the same thing. No logo, no direction ghost distributor. Well, they just realized 
Fright Night with extras that they were not even in the American version. And this is going to blow your mind. There was an interview to the director, Tom Holland, and that interview was picked up from YouTube. Actually, this was the interview that I saw on the Blu-ray. As we say in Spain, con dos cojones! That means, oh my god, that's so fucking brave! Oh god! And that's not the very first thing. I, I, I even saw uh, the, the collector's edition from Halloween, 1978 Halloween, that they got a documentary that was downloaded from YouTube also. And there was a logo on the, on the side of the screen because it was um, digitalized from a TV channel. And that logo was huge. And what those guys did, they put a huge pumpkin hiding the logo. That was amazing. Amazingly corny. Oh, God. Um, one of the things that I want to ask uh, every people from all the world is what it's about your own cinema. Because, as I said, Spanish cinema is very difficult to find the correct edition that can be saw around the world. But... You guys have this? If you go to a mall or a, a FNAC, for example, I don't know if you know if you, if you know a FNAC or El Corte Inglés, uh, they got their movie section, and uh, they are starting to all movies are starting to vanishing, and that's really sad. If you go there, you find, of course, the normal sections, right? Comedy. Drama, science fiction, action, TV shows, but do you find a section that is called National Cinema? Yes, no joke. If you guys, for example, you're in Norway and you are in a mall in you you are in a mall in Norway, you find a section that is called Norway films. There is in France a section of French cinema, in Italy, in Germany, etc. That exists. Well, I have to say that in Spain we got our own section. We got Spanish cinema. And I have to say, I don't know if you guys know it, but in Spain we hate our cinema. I don't. I'm a filmmaker. I can hate my own cinema. That will be so stupid. Well, we got our own section. It's not... We, you will ever find a Spanish movie um, um, next to an American one, next to a French one. No, they got their, their own section. And I have to say that it's really sad. And... Really a shame, a shaming to, to, to have that, to have your own cinema separated. But of course, uh, we, all, we are also living in a world that we have to beg to the state if you want to create our own movie. Uh, we call, we have it sub subvenciones, I don't know how to say in English, subventions to uh, ask for budget. And they ask you, just like in the Oscars, Wokism, do you have women in your crew? You have a, a different racial crew? And if you don't have that, you don't have points. Because if you have more than those kinds of points, they give you the money and you can do your film. But they are trying to make also, Spanish cinema into a woke stuff. That's really sad. 
So if you want to do your movie the way that you fucking want, you have to pay your movie from your own pocket. Just like I did it. I did three movies and I have to pay them. And that's why I couldn't release this into cinema. <laughs> well, I was... Um, I got a streak of luck because the last one I couldn't release it into one platform. And just a, f we, a few weeks later, they... they wa It was already on the internet that you could up, uh, download and watch it. That was funny. <laughs> Well, uh, I think there is a, a, a lot of things to say, but I don't want to that you guys, I don't want to bore you guys, but I think uh, there's a lot of questions that I already asked and I want to know the answers. How th movie collectors are outside Spain? How are you? How is your cinema going? Platforms are killing your the the, the 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 mall that you usually go to buy to buy movies, that tiny store that you know the 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 guy and you you have a great chat with them and he had to close down the the business because of platforms. There is the commentary list, or another name I don't have to say it in English, but let's talk. I want to know you people. I want to know more stuff about what is happening to movie collection out of Spain. And well, I hope that video didn't get too long for you. And I I hope you understand me. As I said, my English is not quite good. But this is David Diaz from Spain and this is my channel. This is a lot of stuff. This is the trailer that I made from my last movie. Spam, spam, spam. And uh, if you want to know about me, I'm just right here. And for free. Goodbye. Or see you later. <laughs>